Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Kshitich from India sent me this problem from the 1994 India Regional Mathematics Olympiad. A leaf is torn from a paperback novel. The sum of the numbers on the remaining pages is 15,000. What are the page numbers on the torn leaf? Now, there are a couple notes I want to add about this problem. First, a leaf means a single sheet of paper. Second, the quoted problem is actual wording from the competition, but we need to assume the book is numbered in the usual way starting on page one without skipping any pages. In the original video I posted, I also overthought the problem and I put in some assumptions that were not there in the original wording. Thankfully, many of you pointed out comments that helped me correct the video and so I can now present the correct answer. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So what happens if we remove a leaf from the book? Let's imagine we rip this page from the book. Well, this page would have a number of x. Now what would be on the opposite side of this leaf? We would have another page number say x minus 1. In other words, when we remove a leaf from the book, we're removing two sequential pages, pages numbered x and x minus 1 from the book. Suppose the book is numbered from 1 to n. The sum of all the pages in the book is the sum of the numbers from 1 to n. This is the well-known formula n times n plus 1 all divided by 2. We know that the total sum of all the numbers minus the missing pages is equal to 15,000. So we can set up an equation n times n plus 1 all over 2 minus x minus the quantity x minus 1. This equals 15,000. Now there are two unknown variables in this equation so we're not going to be able to solve it in a single equation. What we can do instead is use some estimation. Let's ignore the x and x minus 1. So we have that n times n plus 1 all over 2 is approximately equal to 15,000. This is because the two page numbers will be small relative to 15,000. We can then estimate that n times n plus 1 is approximately 30,000. This means n squared is approximately 30,000. So n is approximately the square root of 30,000, which is about 173.2. This is not a whole number value, so we're going to consider the adjacent whole values. We'll test out n equals 173 and n equals 174. So first, let's try n is equal to 174. In that case, the sum of all the pages in the book will be 15,225. The two missing pages will have a sum of 225, and we can readily solve that those will be values of x minus 1 is equal to 112, and x is equal to 113. And originally, I thought that was the answer to this problem. But as many of you pointed out, and Gary Einhorn was the first comment that I saw who pointed out this mistake in the original video, if the first leaf is numbered 1 and 2, then every leaf will have the odd numbered page be one less than the even page. So pages 112 and 113 are not on the same leaf. So this could not be the answer because 112 and 113 aren't on the same physical sheet of paper. So that leaves us to consider the other possibility. What if n is equal to 173? Now originally, I wrongly excluded this answer. I assumed that both sides of each leaf had to be numbered, so book would always have an even number of pages. But it is possible that the last page of a book is blank and not numbered. That doesn't contradict anything in the original wording of the problem. And this is a pretty tricky problem, and that's why it's an Olympiad problem. So what if n is equal to 173? then the sum of all the page numbers is equal to 15,051. This means the two pages 
would have a sum of 51. And then we can readily solve that those two pages will be 25 and 26. So this is the correct answer to the problem. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.